Uh, thanks for thanks for coming. Obviously, we're uh, excited to be joined here today by by Mitch, and uh, we'd like to thank Mitch, uh, his family, his representation uh, on the work that we've we've put in really uh, in the last number of days to have this matter uh, come to a close uh, in the way that we all wanted to from the very beginning, which was with Mitch uh, committing to our team for for an extended period of time, and now we can get. To, get back to business here and get to work uh, while we're here in training camp uh, with no distractions and, and uh, nothing hovering above the team. We can all just be at our best as we get rolling through the years. So I'd like to thank Mitch for that. And, and with that, we'll, we'll take uh, questions. What took so long? Well, so long. We missed one day of camp. <laughs> You're a little more antsy than me, but uh, these things take time. And uh, we're just happy to be here. We've missed no games. and. That's really the objective. We had a situation last year that, that did take long, and uh, we're thrilled to be here. Obviously, he wanted to, to be here, and, and uh, we got it done. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I, me and Kyle have, were talking before, and um, you know, I expressed to him that I didn't want to miss training camp. I didn't want to miss games, and um, you know, that goes back from, I think, uh, you know, middle of last year and um, from this process on and kind of uh, last 48 hours or so, we kind of just sat, uh, sat in a room, talked to each other, made sure that, uh, you know, I wasn't going to miss too much of training camp and that I was going to be ready to play on the, the first game. And like, uh, like Kyle said, I'm just, you know, it's great to be over with and, you know, we're happy to be here. How do you feel? Uh, great. Um, you know, I'm excited to be part of the, this team. Um, you know, obviously seeing this roster and everything that's happened in the summertime uh, looks like a great team. and. Hopefully I can contribute to that and help out. Kyle, you've got the core of this team mm -hmm. together for the better part of the next decade. What does that mean to you as a general manager uh, of this group? I think to our whole organization, uh, Paul, it means a lot. And it's one of the things that, that we looked at, right, when you're going through this, the decisions you have to make with different players is, um, you know, I understand that, that people will look at it and say that no team has done it this way before. Um, that said, uh, we have these guys uh, committed to us for, for an extended period. And we'll get into a stretch here where we can just come to the rink every day and play. We won't have any of this hovering above. And, and people will make their own discussions or, or, uh, or try, to, try to create other controversies. But I, I don't really think we have any at this point. We can just enjoy being together, uh, have fun being together as a, as a program, continuing to grow together and without having to worry about anybody going anywhere. So to, to me, in, in my position, it means a lot. I, I know it was important for me to deliver that for our staff and for our players uh, so that uh, they could just come to work every day and be at their best as well. So that's that's the most exciting part for me. Well, I think we, we get a commitment uh, from Mitch for six years, um, and, and that should be as he enters his prime and then goes into his prime. And uh, the way that we evaluate things, and I know not everybody's going to agree, and I think Mitch would, would want more and we would want it less, but it's something that we both uh, agree on and, and move ahead with. And the way that we evaluate these things, we think that, that all of the contracts that we've signed, that the players will, uh, their production and output and what they bring to the organization will, will match their level of pay. And, and, and I think we all hope they exceed it, and, and that's that sets them up well for their next contracts. What are you going to do about being so high above the salary cap for the team? Well, I've got a great person to handle that. His name's Brandon Pridham. He's in the back of the room, and, and that pressure will go to him. You got some tough questions. I like it right out of the straight heat and the fastball. I like it. Has social media and the public's influence play on moving this deal forward? Uh, not too much. I mean, uh, social media is a big thing nowadays, but um, not too much. I mean, tried to stay off it, try not look at it. Um, you know, it, uh, like I said, you know, it's a, it's a thing that uh, can affect some people, but I tried to stay off it. Um, you know, want to, uh, want to just move forward. Like I said, uh, I'm happy to be here, happy to be done all that process, and, you know, looking forward to helping this team. Mitch, do you feel heightened expectations played, uh, now? Yep. You signed the John. Yep. You made the statement that you were confident that you could get mm -hmm. Mitch signed and the other two guys signed. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the process and what you've gone through in the last, I guess, 15 months? It's been interesting. Um, you know, every single one of the players is different. They have different personalities. They have um, different backgrounds. They bring different things to the club. And uh, it was a very unique situation. You've got young players who are extraordinarily talented and already uh, some of the best at what they do. I think we all have room to grow. And I think they would be the first to tell you that they're not close to reaching their potential yet. 
um, and it's our job to try to help them get there and their job to put the work and to continue to get there. Uh, but they've already accomplished great things in, in the league individually, and I know in speaking to all of them, it's important for them that now we're continuing to grow as a team and we're starting to work towards greater team success. And they, I think the, the key thing for, for me, Mike, was that they all believe that we're on the cusp of being able to do that and they see uh, their, own, their own part and how it influences uh, how far we can go as a group. So um, it, was a, it was an interesting process. I'm, I'm, I'm excited that we can um, know that we're all going to be in this together for an extended period. And I think that should be exciting, not only for our players and staff, uh, but also for our fan base. How much have you grown as a GM for growing Ooh. through this? Loss. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, um, it was, I don't know that we'll ever be in that type of situation again, especially not jumping right into it. Um, I've learned a lot. We've, I think I'm open to say we've screwed some things up and made some mistakes and tried to learn from them and, and not afraid to ever admit that. And I think that's, that's how you learn your, your most and your best. And um, I'm, I'm happy that, that we've, we've got to the conclusion that we've wanted to. You learn about the process and things you do differently for the next time around. And in the end, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to deliver all three of the guys that were impending and, and bring John in as well and continue to try to improve our team as we did so. So we're, we're excited about that. What did you screw up? What did I screw up? Lots. I mean, I mean, I wished everything was done with all of them in one day. So they, they all took uh, long periods of time. Um, with William, I've already, I think we've talked about that at, at length. And, um, you know, I, I, I wish we would have been on it earlier and gone through it earlier. And uh, with Austin's case, I, I don't think there was anything that we had. We had the information that we had and, and we're projecting ahead where it would go with him. And so we executed, executed that one. And with, with Mitch's case, I think, you know, we got it in and done before camp. But you, know, you look back and always you always look and try to find ways that you could have done things better or th ways that you could have improved the process throughout to come to a conclusion sooner. And um, the key thing is that we're all here. But different things that I'll reflect back on after this has come and gone and, and continue to adjust. I'm fortunate that we've got a great staff that when when things are uh, are not looking the greatest, that uh, whether it's Brandon, Lawrence, and Shani uh, and our staff, they, they do a good job of, of helping out. So fortunate that way. Mitch, you mentioned the possibility of having a really blunt discussion with Mitch. Mm -hmm. That conversation takes place. Really yeah, we, uh, we, we had a, like, we had a sit down, uh, <laughs> we had a sit down on Thursday for, for quite a while and it was great for, for Mitch to explain to me how he felt and for me to explain to him, um, you know, the, the, the reasons why we were, we were where we were at, where we were at and, and what we were proposing and so on and so forth and then about how he fit into the team and how, about how the team was going to move forward and everything of that nature. So we had that opportunity Thursday. I think it was a, I mean, Mitch, Mitch I wouldn't want to speak for Mitch and uh, but I think it was, it was a real positive in the process. So. Uh, nothing. I, I mean, uh, I just expressed to Kyle that uh, I don't want to miss any games. I want to make sure that uh, you know, I'm, I'm with the team as soon as possible. And I think kind of from that moment on, I mean, the, the next day or so, we, you know, I think everyone on both sides just bared down and, you know, realized that uh, both parties want the same thing. And, um, you know, we came to agreement. And like, uh, like he said, we're here. We've only missed a day or so. And, you know, get to get on the ice tomorrow with all the guys. And, you know, it's exciting. It's, a, love big, it's a big number, Mitch. Um, sometimes free agents or people that sign big contracts feel like they have to play up to the contract to justify it. Do you think you'll get caught up in that, or how are you going to handle sort of the pressure that comes with being such a highly paid player? Uh, I mean, I'm from Toronto. I live here, and I play here as well. So, I mean, there's pressure in that always. And, I mean, uh, you know, you don't think about it. You just go out there, you play hockey like you've done your whole life. Um, you know, I think, like Kyle said, we got a great management here. And, you know, I think uh, the training staff that we have with us as well and everything else, um, they're, they're going to make sure that every night you come out ready to play and, you know, you're ready for the games. and. Just as a player, I you know, make sure that every night I come ready to play, uh, no matter who I'm up against, uh, no matter you know, the minutes or anything like that. Just make sure every time you get on that ice, you make something happen or you know, try and help your team win. Mitch, what's your response once you signed? What's your response once you signed? Uh, you know, they were excited, um, just as much as I was. Uh, you know, a lot of them reached out when kind of the, the rumors got out there about everything. and. Um, you know, that's when I kind of broke the news to all of them that uh, I'll see him tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I think it was just excitement on both levels. Um, we, like we said, we, we wanted to be here. We didn't want to miss many days and want to get to, you know, get on the ice with all these guys. And, you know, luckily enough, we get to do that tomorrow. Last question. What was the hardest part? What was the role of uh, your agent and your family in supporting you through all 
Well, I mean, um, you know, my family's been with me through everything that I've been through in my hockey career, so there are definitely people that I can always lean on and, you know, ask those hard questions and depend on. And, um, you know, same with Darren. He's been there a long time with me. And, um, you know, all three of them kind of together with my brother as well. They're, they're just someone that I can always depend on and, you know, ask those heavy questions and um, get their honest opinions out of it. So uh, they meant the world to me through, throughout this kind of discussion. And, um, you know, without them, who knows what would have happened. But, you know, like we said, we're just glad it's over. Um, you know, it's time to get to work and have fun with it.